you were called that uh, you issued a, a directive um, to partner with the Nexus Green with a Turkish company called Yapi Makezi to develop a local multipurpose reservoir. In Karamoja? In Karamoja, mm. in Napak. Mm. It can store up to uh, 104 billion liters of water at that site. And you can use it to irrigate up to uh, 10,000 hectares and plus um, a livestock watering. You can have beef fattening, large project there, plus uh, other livestock watering for other purposes, uh, including dairy. And, and uh, we can also use it as a source of water for domestic purposes for the towns and, 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 and the cities near, nearby in, in, in future. So we were moving, because we had um, signed a memorandum of understanding with the, with Yap Marchese and the Annexa Green, then the Attorney General um, guided on, 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 on change of procedure after studying the nature of the contract we were about to enter. So we have reconfigured our processes in line with the Attorney General's advice. You may recall that we have done preliminary feasibility studies for the for the for the site. Now we are embarking on uh, detailed feasibility and detailed geotechnical investigation for the site, and leading to detailed designs, costing, and, and the contracting process. Then, in parallel, in September, we begin the, the approval process uh, through means of finance, through uh, Parliament, and then coming to Cabinet for the approval. So in parallel, the beginning of September, that process will be on. The, the UK export finance law, oh, yes, mm. for, for, for the pay. That one I support. Irrigation, I support borrowing. Yes. Uh, I don't like borrowing for seminars and so on. And I discussed about EV mobility with you. And uh, I think at that point, you know, we, it was just uh, an idea. There's small players here in Uganda that have done very well. But what we're looking at is, as a commercial company, you need to do it in a big bang. You need a big OEM. So what I've been doing is I've been lobbying uh, TVS, which is a massive motorcycle company. And you instructed two of your staff from your office to come join me to go and do a due diligence in India, who are behind me today. And we showed the, the kind of knowledge transfer that could potentially come here. We have uh, 50 sites ready for commissioning, Excellency. The 50, 50 what? 50 sites. Okay. They are already undergoing technical commissioning, Your Excellency, uh, from, from the Ministry. And when you're ready. Where you put solar powered pumps? Solar powered pumps, yes. Where? In different parts of the country. We have some, uh, the ones which are ready, we have some in the uh, uh, Kalumbu district, uh, we have some in the Molata district, we have uh, one in Bokele in the West Nile. Um, so we are we're still going, uh, we expect to have 400 by the end of the year, sir. Uh, Afande, we, um, we are aware that uh, we have um, uh, capacity to generate solar in uh, uh, Kololo, first of all. Kololo, we actually have an excess of uh, 516 kilowatts that can be put onto the grid, and it can only be done uh, through net metering. Now, our next project, sir, is the Nakasongola where we are, uh, we are targeting to be able to produce 20 megahertz. Again, that will be put onto the grid. Of solar? Of solar, yes, sir. Because, as I told the Baroness and the young man... Uh, well, that doesn't work, and mm. I'll tell you why. Because you've got other players in the industry. Now, if they were exclusive, mm. now, how is he going to make money if he's also selling electricity and the swapping some erraticness. So this will be removed now. Finance has now agreed to 95% direct lending. Previously it was at 80%, so we would get... Seasons would have first seasons. Yeah. And also stabilize. How we manufacture and design the system with the guidance of your team, we're getting record tariff rates. For example, Nakasongola,